Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. We are still in Shangri Spa and Bowser's Castle on our way to follow Bowser to see what his idea is for getting up to Peach's castle. Ah, uh, Mario, welcome. This is merely a supply closet. Wait until you see what's on the other side of that door. Normally, I wouldn't allow you inside these confidential areas, of course. That's why I had this security system installed. No one gets in unless I say so. To unlock the door, you'll have to, um, do something with those pillars. It definitely involves pillars. Do something with the pillars and hurry up with it. So, we already saw this, but uh, someone or something hopefully reset the room for us so we get to do it again. Or not. Okay. Wahahaha, I should have known you'd figure it out. Time to get a refund for my security guy. Anyway, follow me. Huh. It turned off the laser, but it did not reset the uh, orientation of the pillars. Okay. Well. Saves time, I suppose. Lots of bullet bills just sort of hanging around here. Wow, this is... It's... It's really something. What are we looking at? Patience, Origami. Now, Mario, I've got one more job for you. Come. Oh, uh, but first... Cut out soldiers. Actually done in here. There's one more collectible treasure, and let me think. What was the percentage of blocks before? I think it was 71. So that means there's one more block somewhere. One more treasure and one more block. Chances are the treasure is inside the block. Accessory. Okay, I have the block accessory equipped. Excellent. Push the button on the left, and all of our problems will be solved. Do it. Okay, um. But where's the block that I missed? That's kind of important. bell isn't ringing so it's not in here I wonder is it on the other side over there and if it is how do I even get over there all right let's look around a bit once again Bowser can wait poor guy he just gets no respect ah well that's the risk you take when you're the evil king of evil and all let's see Is it in here? It doesn't seem to be. Alright, let's go back into the residential section. And see what we can see in here. flip over this painting. And the alert bell is not ringing. Hmm. 
It still strikes me as significant that every single room is missing this exact same panel. Aha. I knew there was I knew that guy had probably respawned. I was trying to hammer him, but I ended up jumping on him instead, which is yeah, good enough for me. Okay, if it's not back here, then maybe it's in the throne room where we fought Sis- uh, okay. Hmm, where could it be? Up here, perhaps? definitely rang. We all saw it. on hide. That's the last block, but where's the final treasure? <sighs> All right, well, since there are no more blocks in the castle, let's switch to the treasure alert. Head back in the general direction of the throne room. After first taking a quick check back here, nothing there. All right then. <clears throat> As I was saying, let's head back in the general direction of the throne room. Nothing 
nothing in here except the save block. Okay. Let's see here. Is there anything in here that I missed? Behind the throne, perhaps? That's not a pure cell. I bet that is some kind of wicked sweet new toy. What Lord Bowser has in mind, nor am I sure he's aware of the extent of the castle's damage. Please don't tell him I'm the one to crash it. Hmm. Well, I'm not finding anything. Okay, well... All this wandering around throughout the entire castle and I have not found anything. Hmm... Okay, well, let's go back to Bowser and push that button. Just to make sure... Nothing over here. Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Bowser and push that button. And we'll see what it does. Wait, how about some treasure hidden in here, perhaps? Nope. Okay. Can you believe that Lord Bowser pa banned me from piloting the clown car again? I mean, what do you expect? Putting me out there without the proper training? Not even a thank you for saving him back at Peach's castle. Humph. Well, you know, Bowser isn't exactly one for displays of emotion. Ah, a new airship. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Behold my latest and greatest airship. It's really nice. And you say this thing flies? What do you think, Mario? We probably would have used this against you. Maybe we still will. Don't look around too much when you're on board. Oh, are you the groundskeeper for the airship, too? What? No, this is a magic broom. It's not for sweeping. Although, I do already see a few dusty areas that could use some attention. Excuse me. Checking in for duty, ma'am. Bobby? Is that you? How? What's happening? Am I seeing things? How are there so many Bobbies? But I thought Bobby was gone after he saved my life with that big kaboom. Do you have me confused with another bob -omb? It's okay, it happens all the time. We do our jobs, and when we're done, there's always another bob -omb to take our place. All any of us can hope for is to make an impact, ma'am. I suppose, if you say so. 
You know what? I'm not going to think too hard about this. It's just nice to see you again, Bobby. And thank you. <laughs> All aboard! We storm Peach's castle in five! You two, do whatever you need to do to prepare yourselves. I'm told some anti-nausea medicine may be in order. Okay, I've looked all over the castle and I've not found the final treasure, which is really irritating. Where else could it be? Is it on the airship itself? I kind of doubt that. Maybe it's on the other side of the hangar over there, but I don't see any way to get over there. You ready to go? You know what? Yes. Alright, listen up, everyone. Start the engines. Start the engines. Start the engines. Once we're a passenger. <laughs> Here we go. And directly for the top of the volcano and punch it. Lots of little support craft all around it. This is amazing! I can't believe this heavy boat can fly through the air! I have to work pretty hard to float just a little bit. This thing is huge! It's very you, Bowser! Ah, I'm glad you like it. They tell me it's the most powerful and least efficient vehicle ever produced. i show you around more, but we're almost there. Can this bad boy move or what? Lord Bowser, enemy spotted right ahead! So what? You think those are decorative cannons we got here? Load them up and open fire! Good old-fashioned aerial dogfight. Bah! That was easy. Didn't even scratch the paint. My lord, there are more of them. Bah! Don't know when to quit, do they? Mario, you want to make yourself useful for once? Follow me. You're gonna fire the big gun. Don't mess it up. Now there are two ways to do this. You want to use motion controls or left stick? Uh, I'm gonna go with motion controls. All right, get ready. Here's how it works. Tilt the controls to aim. Press A to blast your enemies. It's that simple. Don't even think about accessing the menu right now. You got a cannon to fire. Don't mess this up. Light him up! That's <laughs> shooting bob -ombs.
One after another. Uh oh. Hey, what's that? I'll investigate. I was done for. Thanks for saving my shell. You're welcome. Incoming! More of them! Faster now. Needed that heart. I vaguely remember this from the last time I played. That big guy is going to come back pretty soon. Is that it? No, look down there. What's that? It must be the boss. It's quite impressive. Trash that thing, Mario. We're in your hands. Sure, get out of my way. Young Master, we must flee! Uh, good luck! Oh, my reticule's gone. Is it destroyed? Crashed it, huh? No, it's headed straight for us. Keep firing, Mario. You did it. Finally, it's over. Dad's airship did most of it, just saying. Come now, Mario performed more than adequately. Nice work, Mario. You're our hero. And that explosion those bobbies did was amazing, too. Yes, yes, let's not get carried away. The airship really did all the heavy lifting. Peach's castle in sight. Begin final approach. Enemy off the port side! It's coming straight for us! Oh no, the spikes!
And those Koopas and those Spinies. No! Hotfoot Crater. Well, after that, after all that, another crash landing. I mean, our first crash landing. Is Bowser not even here? Ah, oh, man. Dad's not going to be happy about the airship. His insurance premiums are already so high. And where are we, anyway? We were so close to Peach's castle. We must still be nearby. What's the matter, Mario? Are you just hot? Is it hot in here, or is it just Mario? The world's on fire! Actually, I believe there is a simpler explanation. We must have just missed Peach's castle and crashed into the volcano instead. Hey, up here! It's me! Never mind the airship! You know I'll build another one! Just get up here! I got, a sh I got something to show you! Dad, you're okay. I was worried you got folded up even smaller or something. We'll be right there. Last, we've lost both my magic broom and young master's clown car in all the confusion. It seems we'll have to proceed on foot. All right, then. Youch! It's really hot by the edge here, Mario. I'm worried that it would be the end for you if you fell in there. You can't survive falling into lava, can you? Can you? I don't want to find out, so please be careful. Um. Okay, where do I go? Oh, I see. I get up there. Ah, uh, here we go. The mast is cracked and bent, so. Okay. Paper macho things. That's kind of bad. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them! What are we going to do? Hee <laughs> hee The path is too narrow. They can't get through. Then stop laughing and start running. We need to get out of here. box over there on the ship that I could have broken with my hammer, I just noticed. They're gaining on us! I'll hold them! You all hurry on to Master Bowser! We'll do it. Thank you, Kamek. No, Dad's airship! Uh. Okay, that's starting to get kind of irritating. They're still coming! Hurry up! I've been waiting for a good fight anyway. Bring it on, freaks! Stay safe, Junior! Junior!
Hey, Bowser, you actually did something useful. I'm impressed. Um, so Kamek and Junior... I saw what happened. They can both take care of themselves. Not to get too deep into my parenting philosophy, but you have to let kids take chances. Now, take a look at this. The airship's primary cannon is still intact. This might sound crazy, but if we load ourselves into the barrel, we can just shoot ourselves through the ceiling. That'll put us right on the doorstep at Peach's castle. Who says no? the uh, final warp pipe. <laughs> See? How do I never get credit for having great ideas? Well, I think you're amazing, Bowser. I'm very impressed with how you got so many minions to follow you even though you're just a scary face. Phew. Time for a deep breath. We've got to stop my brother and save Princess Peach. First of all, now second, and third, we have some time for stuff. Enter the warp pipe. Ah, pipes are your thing. I'll be here when you get back. Volcano Peak. Well, let's unlock a few more things in the museum. We've gotten all of the red and blue streamer stuff. How about the yellow streamer? Sweet Paper Valley. A bird's eye view of it. Kinda neat, really. I wonder, though, where the river would have taken us if we kept on following it. Oh well. Unanswered questions. We shall never know. Breezy Tunnel, where we got the boot car. Monty Mole Den, where we had to go to cheer up Olivia. Yeah, that was a pretty... I wanted to say rough section of the game. But that's not really the right word. Harsh, perhaps? I mean, we actually had a character who was with us for, you know, a fair amount of time. The entire uh, Blue Streamer area uh, literally sacrificed himself. Anyway, Sweet Paper Valley layout stuff. Breezy Tunnel miscellaneous stuff. Olivia's little private room. The doorway further in, and etc. Concept art for the Breezy Tunnel. None of which actually made it in. Interesting ideas, though, like um, a production site for the Paper Macho enemies. Hmm. 
You know that I think of it, that's never those things are never really explained. They just sort of appear out of nowhere. I guess they had to cut it for time or something like that, but or maybe it just it didn't really fit in anywhere that made sense. But still I would have liked for them to have it in the game somewhere as you know some kind of explanation at least the folded soldiers that makes sense I mean, Ollie was taking you know real um, paper people and folding them up into origami but the paper macho enemies never really explained Shroom City. Wasn't this Sniff City, though? I mean, originally it was Shroom City, but then the uh, toads were all taken away and the Sniffits moved in. Excellent nightlife in that place. The lobby of the hotel. The sound disc room. <laughs> the store where you could buy mysterious sound discs. The likes of which just don't exist in the world today. Ancient relics. You know how it is. The desert house. Okay, yeah, just one of the houses off in Shroom City. Sniff City Royal Hotel Room. Yeah, the uh, luxury suite. Which Luigi gave us the key for. Was it Luigi? Yeah, it was Luigi. The hallway, okay. Fire Velumental Hall, okay. Yeah, where we fought the fire elemental. The cave entrance, where the professor stayed behind because he was scared of fire. The trick door. Ah, right, this is the one where we had to... Um, what was it again? We had to have someone stand on the scales on either side of the door and once they were both occupied they went down and the door opened. All the sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi? I don't know. but All of those in the Tomb of Shroomsies. Fire of Elemental Statues. Okay, concept art. Hmm. Some of those are really fancy looking and others are kind of plain. I guess they were working out ideas of what it might look like. Fire of Elemental Gondola. Right, that's the cable car that took us back to the beginning once we beat the Fire of Elemental. Temple of Shroom's interior. Hmm, okay. I don't remember a room that looked specifically like that, but... I guess that was just sort of... You know, the flavor of what it all looked like. The disco, yeah. With the uh, face-punched toads and everything else. 
kind of an eerie looking place when you don't have the music. I mean, look at all those strange purple lights all over the place. Light up floor. Oh, right, that puzzle. Where the different panels lit up in order and you had to follow the order to get across safely. I hated that puzzle so much because my short-term memory is just not that great. Temple of Shrooms exterior, okay. Yeah. I still think it's kind of weird that the uh, toad statues on the exterior look like normal toads rather than the sort of tall, thin, stylized toads that the rest of the architecture sports. That's just kind of weird. Desert with Fire Valley Mental Statues. Okay, some concept art for what that uh, Fire Valley Mental platform might have looked like. As well as the uh, shrine entrance. And Captain T. Ode while still frozen. Hmm. But there's no huge pile of refrigerators around him. They forgot that detail in the concept art. Desert Tower, right. The uh, inside of the Desert Towers. And, all right, the ruins. There are a few different ruins around the, around the desert. And, yeah, that's more or less what they looked like. Okay, we can come back to this later. I don't want to spend too much time on it. That would get kind of tedious. treasures here. Okay, yeah, there's still one in the sea tower that I haven't found. Okay, so let me start making a quick list here. I have to go back to Overlook Mountain to do the fishing minigame to find the one there. And then I have to go back to the sea tower to find the missing one there. Cut out soldiers, a set of soulless minions created by scissors. They have no faces, no feelings, and no fear. Well, I mean, fear is a feeling, so if they have no feelings, then yeah, obviously. be found somewhere in Bowser's castle. I thought I searched the whole castle and I couldn't find it. That's weird. Hmm, well it's not in one of the question mark blocks because I found all of those. Okay, so there's Overlook Mountain, and the uh, Great Sea Tower, and now Bowser's Castle. And then there's Peach's Castle. Oh, there's a bunch in Peach's Castle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's a lot. Check this room for a while. Everything from the 
blue streamer area. Goomba. Swoop. Scaredy Rat. Shy Guy. Spiny. Cheap Cheap. Koopa Troopa. And Galoomba. They make their homes near chestnut trees. Good stomping will make them topple over, so have at it. Okay. Paragoomba. The red side stepper. They like to slide side to side. It's pretty snide. Their pincers are sharp as scissors, so stomp at your own risk. Oh, now that's a neat detail. It capitalizes the word scissors. <laughs> That's the kind of detail that could easily slip you by. It's not just saying, you know, as sharp as, you know, scissors in general, as sharp as the boss scissors who was occupying Bowser's castle until we destroyed him. Yeah, that that's the kind of detail that could easily slide right past you. I'm pretty sure I never noticed it before. The blue side stepper. Blue side steppers are rare. Is that why they value rarities themselves? Either way, keep an eye on your goods. Ninji. If they spot a hammer coming, they'll use their ninji vanish ability to turn things around. Stomp them instead. Yeah, I learned that one. The hard way. Mecha Koopa. Known for getting dragged into battles. Besting one will earn lots of coins, so make defeating them a priority. Sniff it. They're ready and raring to shoot some trouble your way, and they're not shy about calling for backup in battle. yellow streamer. There's something missing from the purple streamer. Interesting. Okay. Once again, Goomba. Scaredy Rat. Dry Bones. They'll collapse into a bone heap upon defeat, but not for long. Even the boot car can't keep them down. Shy Guy. Bashful blokes like to hide behind masks, blah, blah, blah. Buzzy Beetle. That's a new one. Buzzy Beetles transformed into origami. As per usual, fireballs have no effect on them. Must be some high-quality paper. <laughs> Non-flammable paper. Yeah. Koopa Paratroopa. Spiny. Black Shy Guy. Mysterious Shy Guy shrouded in darkness. They like to throw turnip-shaped things, so watch out for that. Boo. One glance at Mario's twinkling blues makes them freeze. They vanish in battle, so don't lose track of them. Scuttlebug. Pokey. They wait in the sand to attack all who approach. They probably just need a hug, but it's not advisable. Yeah, because they'll pokey you. Krober. They fly around in circles, ever and wait to dive bomb Mario on sight as though they have nothing better to do. Which they probably don't. Shoe Goomba. You can't stomp them when they're safe in a shoe, but a defeated one will drop boots, so get to shoe collecting. Really, I can... get boots from them. Huh. I guess that stands for reason. Fire Bro. No one likes being surrounded by flame-throwing bullies, so do your best to avoid these bros. Hammer bro. They throw hammers at people, which is remarkably rude. And won't someone think of the hammers? Bone Goomba. Goomba's wearing tough skulls on their heads, even in origami form. That's still pretty intimidating. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Mecha Koopa. Okay, we've already seen that. Now, purple streamer. I don't have everyone in the purple streamer section, do I? That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder what I missed. Could I possibly have missed the blooper? 
Goomba, Shy Guy, Koopa Troopa, Koopa Paratroopa, Paragoomba, Spiny, Cheep Cheep. Nope, there's the blooper right there. Hmm. Buzzy Beetle, Sidestepper, Blue Sidestepper, Nipper Plant. They look like adorable origami flowers, but don't be fooled. If left to their own devices, they'll spit fire at you. Oh, they will, huh? I don't believe I've ever actually seen that. I guess I destroy them too quickly. Which is probably for the best. So the crowbar, the blooper. They live in the Great Sea. They prefer the water, but will occasionally cause mischief on dry land. Scuttlebug. Sniff it. Bone Goomba. Hammer Bro. Boomerang Bro. Boomerang Enthusiast. Just when you think you've dodged a rang, boom. Right in the back of the head. Fire Bro. Stone Spike. You can't break a blue stone spike's rocks with a hammer, so just do your best to avoid them altogether. Snow Spike. Mighty spikes who thrive in the cold. Unless you use your hammer wisely, their snowballs will smash you flat. Spike. They spit up the spiked balls on the regular. How unsettling. Those spikes smart, so don't jump on them by mistake. Ice bro. The ice they throw is pretty, pretty cold and pretty painful. It's pretty much a bad idea to go near them. Spike top. Notable for their large spikes. They're not fun to step on, so do yourself a favor and pull out the old hammer. Sledge bro. Very large and very strong sledge bros. Guarding is highly recommended, assuming you don't like throbbing pain. And Mecha Koopa, of course. What's the missing one? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be. I'll probably have to look it up online. What's number 43? Green streamer. Once again, Goomba. Shy Guy. Koopa Troopa. Spiny. Nipper Plant. Ninji. Although these ninjis look a little different than the previous ninjis because they're holding those leaves. Ninjis who like to lurk in tall grass. If you hit one with a hammer, expect an angry counterattack. Buzzy Beetle and Koopa Paratroopa. Sniff it. And Jumping Piranha Plant. They look like teeny piranha plants with leafy little feet. Though adorable, their fire is still fire, so stay alert. Hammer bro. Fire bro. Snow spike. Spike top. Rocky wrench. They live underground and pop up only to throw spinner wrenches at folks, especially folks named Mario. And the spike. Stone Spike, Sting Bee, they hide in tall grass only to fly out all abuzz like it's some kind of sting operation. Oh ho, what a funny joke. Charge and Chuck, always energetic and ready to roll, these hot spring aficionados favor team tackles. Piranha Plant, they look like they're stuck in the ground, harmless and immobile. Looks can be deceiving. There's a typo there. The first word, the, look like they're stuck in the ground. It should be they. Hmm. Careless Nintendo, I expect better of you. Proofread your stuff better. Mecha Koopa. Fuzzy. They move along walls fast. They won't fight you, but touching one will cause damage, so maybe don't do that. Patooey. Word to the wise, those spiky balls they keep aloft by breath alone hurt a fair bit if they fall on you. I shall keep that in mind. 
Sumo Bro. Shoots out lightning with a Sumo Stomp. You'll have to defeat these foes to recover any panels they steal in battle. Boss Sumo Bro. This bad boy is blocking the entrance to Bowser's Castle. Better bring your sturdiest boost to this lightning fight. And Value Mental. The Earth Value Mental. The Water Value Mental. Flies high and attacks with water. Send it to the ground with your boots, then use the Earth Value Mental's power. The Fire Value Mental. Clad in ferocious flames, use the power of the Water Value Mental first, and then unleash your 1,000 fold arms. And the Ice Value Mental. A polar bear with ice manipulation powers. It freezes to guard, so use the Fire Value Mental's power to melt it. Okay. Now I could go in the uh, sound gallery, but there's a lot of different sounds and music to listen to, and that would get really tedious really fast. Instead... Let's see, do I want to go to Overlook Mountain, or do I want to go to the Sea Tower? I have to go to both of them eventually. Let's go to Overlook Mountain first. Kinda stumped about exactly how I do this. So I'm gonna start by just catching the small ones. <clears throat> okay, it's definitely here. Yeah, let's just catch this the small ones. Those small ones, they look kind of big. Yeah, that is a big one. I need the smaller ones, I think. Oh, no, no, not that one. That one, over there. It's glittering. That's a good sign. <laughs> the folded Bowser collectible treasure. Finally. Way to go, you caught a collectible treasure. You've caught all the treasures in this fishing spot. And that means I'm done here. All right. Well, that one's been nagging at me for a while. But, finally got it done. Now then, next is the, uh, Ocean Tower. Walk in, will it save? Because we're at about the one hour mark. Hmm. Well, I know one way to save for sure. Because through some mysterious power, that ship 
always follows me here. Viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. In the next episode, we're going to go up the Sea Tower again to see if we can find that missing treasure. That's the first thing we're going to be doing. And then there will be one or two other side things before we get back to Peach's Castle. But none of it should take us very long, I hope. At any rate, see you next time.